Hey guys, this is my review of the Hoxie Aluminum Necks. Um, got a grounding problem going on. Um, these are really awesome, basically. Um, Hoxie Guitars makes these for like dirt cheap. If you want a good one, it'll cost like 700 bucks, which is like, you know, it's still cheaper than normal, but it's a little bit more than what I can afford. But if you want like absolute bare minimum, nothing attached, they made me this one for like $270, which is just unheard of for an aluminum neck. Like that is crazy cheap. And there's no damage to it. There's a tiny chip at the back of the headstock, but like that could have been shipping. Um, and it like doesn't bother me at all. Like I doubt you can even see it, but it's like right there. Um, and for two hundred and seventy dollars, that's that's crazy. Like the cheapest other neck that I could find on the market was like five hundred dollars. And once you go used, like those five hundred dollar necks, nobody sells used. So the used ones are like eight hundred dollars because those are the actual good ones. But when I say good, um, that just means that it has a clear coat gloss on the back. Um, maybe some dot markers on the top and these markers right here, if it's really fancy, a lot of the black ones, cause all the people who play the aluminum and extra stone are doing people and the block inlays are cool. Um, but for this one, what I got for like my $270 was a little string retainer right here, some dot inlays on the fretboard cause I was like, I need those for when I'm playing, I'll look down, you know. It doesn't make sense saving like $10 and not getting those. And I got, there's no clear coat on the back of the neck. So over time, it's gonna start looking a little bit dingy. It might get scraped or beat up, but that's the vibe that I'm going for. And for $270, you could wipe this down with like tongue oil or something and it will be completely fine. And to show you that this is completely bare metal, Grounding problem? No grounding problem. There is nothing between me and the metal, which is either a really good thing, or if there's a grounding problem somewhere in my amp, um, it's a really bad thing. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, and the other cool thing is that while there is like uh, nothing on the back of the neck, they do like gloss over the fretboard. So it's not that bad of a deal. The fretboard isn't getting like dirt marks on it anywhere. Um, it's only the back of the neck. And you can wash that no problem. Like that, that's not an issue at all. Um, so there were a couple issues that I ran into. Number one, if you get the four by four headstock for one that fits the fender base, there's only one tuner that will work and they're like the ratio two by two tuners. Um, those are cool. If you get this, you should order them with it because no other tuner will fit it, number one. And number two, the shipping from Canada takes about two weeks. So I got this, I was like, oh shoot, I'm so excited to install my guitar. And then I had to wait two weeks for these to show up. <laughs> so that's, the, you know, that's that kind of sucks. But, um, so that's like another $100. But the neck itself, $276. The tuner is about $100. Um, I think it also included the graph tech nut. My personal favorite feature about this, and y'all may, may guess this, but they will custom make you a left-handed neck for no additional charge, which is incredible. Like for us lefties, you can't get aluminum necks. This is, um, this is like the coolest thing ever. Um, My main, my main gripe is that um, ratio doesn't make these tuners left-handed, so the gearing is kind of screwed up, so it takes about two turns to get the E-tuner all the way up, and it takes about 43 to get the G-tuner all the way up. But, you know, we always got to deal with something else. Um, my other gripe about this is on the website it says Fitz, Fender, and Squire, and I have no doubt that it fits Fender because the spacing is two inches by one and a half inches on this thing. <laughs> Well, for, for the bolts. Um, my problem is, is that it doesn't fit Squire stuff. Now this base is actually a Glary, 
but Glary and Squire do the same metric spacing that's just standard on all overseas bases. So I don't think that this will fit a Squire either. But if for sure won't fit a Glary, might not fit a Squire, probably will fit a Fender. Um, and the other cool thing is that these are all built the same. So if you manage to break one somehow, I don't know how you would, but you can literally just buy another one of these. It'll bolt right back on and you're good to go. Like there is no machining difference between these, whereas there will be during wood with wood. Other thing is that wood will bend and this will not. So this space, I'm probably just going to leave in my car, like indefinitely. Like the neck will probably reach 400 degrees on a summer day, but there won't be any neck like twisting or bending, which is the the main thing that I don't like about wooden necks. Um, but what I do like about this one, actually, uh, it just feels amazing. Like especially if you're keeping it in your house, the neck is just always nice and cold and it just feels good to play. Um, I guess finally with the machining stuff, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but finally with the machining stuff, um, they will make you headstock in like a lot of different variations and four in line on a Fender base is just so cool. Like I love it so much. Um, as you can see, this base is, you know, a little bit more but um, basically I'll just play with the jazz pickups and the jazz pickups are running in parallel so it's like a jazz pickup humbucker but I mean yeah uh, so, and that sounds good um, I mean it sounds really good um, so I'll just play that right here <laughs> sounds different like and by different I mean this is gonna sound kind of like weird but it feels like it has less sustain than my old neck on this thing and it feels like it has more of like a clear top end <laughs> Never mind. Um, when you're just doing the pick attack, it feels like it has less sustain, but this is without any gain, really? Or any compression? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, it sounds brighter and it has a crazy amount of sustain. I'm gonna play this in my Mudbucker out of phase now. Thank you. 
really good. Um, it feels really good. It's like playing one of those 80s shredder guitars. It's just the neck yeah. is the neck is really flat and it's a little bit thicker. And it's you can just play really fast and just shred up and down, which is great for those like stoner doom like <laughs> Seventy bucks, three hundred and seventy with the tuners. Had to do a little bit of modification to the bass. All things considered, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't buy this. And they will do just about anything you want a custom order. So if you if you like really want one with the block inlays, if you want one with freaking light up fret markers along the back of the neck, like gloss clear coat and like a painted lacquered fretboard, they will do all that stuff. Like, this is just one of the craziest deals on the market right now. And if if you're looking for an aluminum neck for bass or guitar, like this is uh, this is amazing. Final thing, lead time is about eight weeks. Not an unrealistic time period, especially considering like how crazy the gear market is right now. Eight weeks is eight weeks flew by, you know waiting for this and I, I can say that 270 bucks in eight weeks was was worth this this with the old neck was probably my least favorite base and now it may have risen up a little ways in the ranks so you no know, I would get it I'm mean, nine out of ten I had to screw around with the base that's the only reason it loses a point it's great mm -hmm.